Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Hackers Special of Mead and Cheese. Mead. I'm DJ Mead. <laughs> and I'm DJ Cheese. Uh, could you turn my headphones up? I can turn your headphones up, yes. Thank you. <laughs> that's everyone's headphones. Dear God. Okay, that's that's okay. that's. Is that better? No, it was better when you turned it. Well, right. How about how about? No, no, no. When you turned the uh, when you turned the one, what might you just turned down? Yeah, but that turns up everyone's headphones. The lines are like on mute. <laughs> right. Okay, we, we'll figure this out. Please don't change mine, whatever you do. It's only going to be in the DMU you hack, especially if you have technical issues. No, I can't hear anything in these headphones. You can't hear anything. Right. Maybe they plugged in weird. Yeah, anyway, yeah. so. Anyway. <laughs> Why? Well, let's get into it. So, um, yeah, I'm DJ Mead, you're DJ Cheese. I'm DJ Cheese, and we have the lovely hackers with us today Woo! from the DMU Hacking yeah. Society, yeah. the Ethical Hackers. Um, we, I think we've got a quiz for them today, haven't we, Corey? We, we do have a quiz. Yeah. We'll do that we will, just a bit later. We will really test your knowledge we on will. hacking. We will be crowning which one of the two hackers in front of us knows the most about hacking and which one is the ultimate hacker. I mean, I'm down for that, yeah. yeah. I expected to have to give you guys a quiz, but yeah, uh, I we mean, have a quiz tonight. We also would like a quiz from you if you want, and that's totally voluntary, but I would really enjoy I like I like a quiz we, we like a good we quiz. like a quiz yeah. just as long as they're easy and simple yeah <laughs> you know one two three a b c yeah exactly yeah we're also joined by the magnificent king of France DJ mustard himself Hugo <laughs> back again oh and, and, and the, king of the, the vice <laughs> vice chairperson of Dima oh, media I look like a man who should be beheaded so yeah, <laughs> that, yeah I agree <laughs> <laughs> vice vice chairperson how's your week been it's been a good week to be fair i've actually been quite productive rarely rarely yeah. i've been very productive yeah. how been a good week. last time i left when you were last time i saw you you was writing an essay mm. how's that going i think last time you saw me i, I had 286 words i now have 250 250 <laughs> <laughs> nice <laughs> i'm doing well yes. quality doing over well. quantity hugo that's it that's how you get first. Exactly. Or that's how you don't hit the word count. <laughs> um, Tom, do you want to go through our mission statement? Yeah, I do. Um, so what we are doing here on Mead and Cheese is we are raising awareness for uh, meads across the nation. We are also bringing back a drink, what has been forgotten, what has been forgotten by many people. We're bringing it back into the spotlight. We're doing yes. it justice, and and you know what? It's a lovely honey drink, and everyone enjoyed it. It's a great drink to have with the family. It's a great drink to have in a party. It's a great drink for every single situation. Yes. We're also accompanying these this great comeback from Mead with some of their greatest cheeses. Yeah, and that's what we're doing here. So, um, what is currently the greatest cheese? <laughs> Cheddar. Uh, so. So we're actually on the semi-finals of the Great Cheese War this week. Uh, we have cheddar versus um, what was it? Mozzarella, Mozzarella yeah. today. That's what we have got today. Two kingpins. Yeah. So we're going to see who's going to take out two. Uh, does anyone have any want cheese they're going to be backing today? I'm cheddar. backing cheddar. Cheddar. 100%. Cheddar. One hundred percent. Yeah. I'm going for mozzarella. I'm going for mozzarella as well. Yeah. Good. Evan and Maddie are going for mozzarella. Might have to be Red Leicester. Oh, Red Leicester's next know. week. Yeah, but that's not... It's cheddar or mozzarella. Oh, okay, well, it's definitely <laughs> cheddar then. I'm still very much on the fence about cheddar or mozzarella. I think I might have to do some arguments before I you know, pick a side here. Well, as, as the king of France, which one would you say is, is more French? Well... Because, oh, obviously, you've got Italy to your south. We're entering the region of politics. Okay, here, you've got the UK <laughs> to your north. Which one do you like better as an ally? <laughs> is that an ultimatum or a threat? Well, you're you're the king of France. You need to say, do you prefer the UK or do you prefer Italy? And that will decide which cheese you like the best. I like both. That's my problem. Oh, Italy. I really like both. Well, that's a bit of a cop out. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to do our hackers quiz after this song. So we've got the Mead song by Brothers of Metal, and after that we have the hacking yeah. quiz. Welcome back to Mead and Cheese. That was the Mead song by Brothers of Metal. Now, we have our hackers who will in, be going, in the hot seat. <laughs> who will be going head to head in the hacking quiz. Which one of you would you say knows the most about hacking? Oh, 
it's, it's very tricky to say. I think there's there's lots of different uh, fields of expertise. So it's uh, yeah, it, it depends on how you choose your uh, your sort of learning pathways, I suppose. Yeah. No, it's got it's got to be a tight one. Um, I've got about five years now in cybersecurity uh, before I came to uni and everything, and Ollie's got about a similar amount of time in cybersecurity, so cool, it's going to be cool. very tight. Well, we're going to find out definitively today which hacker knows the most about hacking. Are you ready? Mm. Yeah. Question one. Which word, starting with H and ending with K, means to cut with rough or heavy blows? Hack. That's definitely hack, yeah. <laughs> you are both correct. That is one point for both hackers. <laughs> Question number two. Mead and cheese superfan Idris Elba is from which London borough? Hackney. Hackney, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are both correct. Question three. Who was the first WWE wrestler to win the Royal Rumble match? This is one for Brandon. Uh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Yes! Yes! Uh, yes! Correct. What knowledge. Brandon, you are ahead by one point. Question four. Which famous dog puppet appears on the CBBC Hacker. television channel? Yeah, CBBC. Yeah. Big Hacker. up on... Uh, yeah. It's a tie again. Hacker dog. Question five. Which 2016 biographical war film stars Andrew Garfield? Hacksaw Ridge. Oh. Mm. We're one point ahead again. This, this is, is ridiculous. Tense. This is tense. <laughs> no, this is, this is the hacking quiz. <laughs> Which 2021 comedy drama series on HBO Max stars Gene Smart, Hannah Einbinder, and Carl Clemens Hopkins? Any guesses? No clue. No clue? The answer we were looking for is hacks. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Clearly not the um, hacking extraordinaires you were made out to be. Um, question seven. If your car is making a strange noise, just turn the radio up until it stops. Is an example of a life what? Hack. Oh my god. (laughs) Brandon, you are ahead by two points now. (laughs) What can I say? I thought you were going down the engine knocking route. I was like, oh, this could be... (sighs) Question eight. Which village in West Northamptonshire is located just north of Buckinghamshire and five miles south of the Northampton town centre? Any guesses? I mean, I'm going to imagine there's hacking it somewhere. <laughs> Quite possibly. The answer we were looking for is Hackleton. Oh, goodness me. That's... <laughs> Outstanding. I've got to, I've got to I'm looking this up now. Question nine. Native to North America, the Celtis oscillodantilus is the scientific name for which tree? <laughs> You're just saying words now, aren't you? <laughs> the hack tree. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. It's not the hack tree, oh, Brandon. Yeah. Again, I have no the, clue. Oh, no clue. Yeah. We were looking for the hackberry tree. Hackberry tree. Beautiful. Beautiful. And our final question, number ten. An attacker is attempting a DOS attack against a machine. She first spoofs the target's IP address and then begins sending large amounts of ICMP packets mm. containing the MAC address FF colon FF colon FF colon FF colon FF colon FF colon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What attack? No, no colon. Sorry. Oh God. There was, there was an extraneous colon. Forgive what me. What attack is underway? Oh. DDoS. Does it deny it? I mean, it's, uh, why has it got the, the it, Mac specific stuff in there, though? It, it's, it's a type of it's, DOS it's attack. It's a particular layer. Yeah. Like layer two. It's like a layer two type. DOS. I've, oh, uh, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a clue. It begins with S. S? Sierra. Something just spoofing or something along those lines, but no. Uh, oh, man. This is really bad. We actually get asked an actual hacking <laughs> question. <laughs> um, what does DDoS actually stand for? Uh, this should be the denial of service. Yeah. Oh. Starvation. Uh, I'd be lying if I said that meant something to me because I don't know <laughs> much about so, this. So um, think think about the Disney. the blue people, and that might help. Smurfing, Smurf. Yes. Okay. Yes, it is a Smurf <laughs> attack. I mean, he has just yeah. searched that up, but that's no, cool. I haven't. It's not here. Well, I've, I've, I did. I tried to look it up. I'll be honest, but I'm, I'm, I'm here on Mac flooding. But no. So by one point, I think Brandon, you are the winner. What can I say? Nice. I'm a- <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, it's, it's Brandon. Brandon.
the chairperson of the DMU Hacking Society. What can I say? You know, I'm the I'm top of the society, top in this quiz. It's what you expect. It was coming. Yeah. King of France, do you have any comments? It's an impressive quiz. It's some good knowledge, to be fair. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree too. I um, I so, just a little update for all my lovely listeners out there. Hope you're having a good evening. Um, our lovely Ed has just put the poll on Twitter. Um, nice. So you can vote now on Demon FM Twitter uh, to vote for Cheddar or Mozzarella. So it is totally this is the f- the, the future is in your hands in in a way. So you can vote now. Uh, we're also going to be accompanying that with the lovely graphic we make each week. Um, so you can just view that to see how the competition's going so far. Um, yeah. So we're going to go. Any song suggestions from anyone? Well, I think we need to go with the Mead and Cheese Classic. Year three thousand. It's got to be. The or year Cher Lloyd. Oh, we don't have any Cher Lloyd. Cher Lloyd by Cher Lloyd. I thought Lloyd. he was going to put on <laughs> temporary secretary. <laughs> I wish I had temporary secretary on me. I really do. <laughs> Should we go year three thousand? Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We are back. So uh, before we did the hackers quiz, and Brandon, the chief hacker supreme. Won the quiz with his excellent hacking knowledge. It's just my big brain, come on out. <laughs> big brain! <laughs> so, uh, Tom, how is the Great Cheese War going? Well, our Great Cheese War is going quite fine. It is a very close battle. Uh, mozzarella is in the lead by 55%. Uh, but it's, Cheddar is, is slugging behind a bit at 44%. But I think this is going to be one of the most tensest battles we've ever had in the Great Cheese War. And that is a great way to start the semi finals. I agree. So what is it next week, Tom? Uh, next week we will be fighting Red Leicester and Halloumi. Ooh. So I know that's your personal uh, favourite, is Red Leicester. It is, it is so indeed. How are you feeling about that next week? Are you feeling nervous? Uh, no, I, I'm pretty confident that Red Leicester can go to the final. And I, I'm predicting right now, as the expert on cheese and mead, that uh, Red Leicester versus Cheddar will be the final. You think? You think? I, I think, think so. Evan, what do you think? Because you are our mozzarella representative. Okay, yes. I would say the predictable offer is that it would be Cheddar versus Le- Red Leicester. Yeah. But if it's up to me and all of my people and Adam setting to vote, we're going to throw the under... Uh, we're going to throw the... Um, how is it called? Not the underdogs. How's the opposite? Uh, the favourites. We're going to throw the favourites out and the underdogs will be in the final. It's yeah. going to be Mozzarella versus Halloumi and Halloumi is going to take revenge for Feta who should be the winner. <laughs> what you're saying is you would make Drew Gulak not the sure. universal champion and not mm. Roman Reigns. No, I disagree with that. Roman's amazing, okay? He's in God mode now, son. He, he is in God mode, yeah. <laughs> Hugo, who do you think should win the Great Cheese War overall? Oh, it's cheddar and Red Leicester are the two big staples, really, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, of cheese, but cheddar is kind of one step <laughs> above because you cheddar's a much more of a household name than Red Leicester is, and it is yeah. the default cheese when someone mentions cheese. Yeah, but as a Leicester-based radio show, yeah. we need to be back in Red Leicester. Well, I think you back which one you love the most, and I think everyone loves halloumi the most, and I think halloumi is going to win. Halloumi is the nicest cheese but you say mozzarella is beating cheddar right now yeah mo- mo- mozzarella is mozzarella is is a very good cheese it's yeah. it's upbeat it's modern um you have it on pizza you, you can't you can't <laughs> not knock it maybe my prediction's entirely wrong maybe the yeah. final will be mozzarella versus halloumi ed who are you um back him yeah, just, just, just nip there. Right. I'm stealing a microphone. I'm backing cheddar yeah. because cheddar is the greatest of cheeses. It, it accounts for 51 percent of the UK cheese industry. It's, it's got that vintage, though, and it is the second. It is the second most sold cheese in America. The most sold cheese is mozzarella. Ooh, these are good facts. That's However, facts. this is also proves that the Americans are wrong. What is cheddar, the most sold again, cheese they don't have globally? Good do we know what? Do we know what the most sold cheese globally is? Uh, I, I can Google it. It better be cheddar. So, all our people... wants to be, yeah. All our people Google watching it. on Instagram live, it if you want to uh, nice. shout out on, live on Demon FM, uh, do let us know. And let us give us your opinion on who you want to win the Great Cheese War. Yes, hackers, how is your quiz coming along? I've got my five questions sorted. I'm just waiting on Ollie finishing his five. Okay, should we go to another song before we do the hackers quiz oh, yeah. to us? I'll just... 
Let me just quickly do the mission statement. Yeah, do the mission statement. I just want to say... One more time. Look at what we have achieved together in this room. We have achieved one of the greatest shows on Demon FM. We have raised awareness for me, the forgotten drink. We have released just yesterday a 40-minute YouTube video, which has already got 80 views, which is breaking records. We have done so much for mead. We've done so much for cheese. And we've had so many guests on this show. And I am proud about what we have achieved on this show. I'm sure, Corey, are you proud of what we've achieved? I'm very proud. And you know what else I'm proud of, Tom? I am proud of our YouTube launch. Our YouTube launch. Our YouTube launch. We released the first ever episode of Mead and Cheese with some great visual content to go alongside it. Yep. On our new official YouTube channel. Yeah, we. We're all proud of you boys. Come on. We're all I, proud. I'm proud of Evan. I'm Evan, proud Evan, of say, say it into the of, microphone. Yes. We're all proud of you boys. You are doing actually a great justice. I love the TikTok. I love the YouTube. You guys are taking Mead and Cheese to another level. Don't forget. Yeah. This is the only meat and cheese so in the universe. Uh, exactly. Correct, like yeah. before this, this is. I'm really proud of the fact that this is the most popular meat and cheese show on radio ever, ever. Yes, since records ever. began. Of I've course. also got something to add on that as well. Whenever I was doing my travels last <laughs> week, uh, I came across a bar that was actually selling meat. <gasps> yeah. And I'm not saying it's the effect of meat and cheese, but I don't know if that bar was selling meat beforehand. So. You're not Whoa. saying it's not no, the effect it's not of meat and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one little thing, just let's 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 go into this final semi-finals. I know this is a tough, tense competition where it is, yeah. feelings are getting hurt, but let's let everyone go around and say something they like about themselves. Huh? I cool. like that I have the most listened to show on Demon FM. Everything I like, everything about myself. Thank you. I'm the Greek god of Demon oh. FM. Adam is the Greek god. I like, um, my cake. <laughs> she likes cake. I like my camera knowledge. Go on, Ed, what do you like about yourself? Camera I like knowledge. myself. Oh, oh damn you hackers, what do you... I like turtles. <laughs> <laughs> you got to say something, Brandon. I like my hair. <laughs> nice. I, I like your hair too. I like that you won the hacking quiz to prove yeah, that you are the ultimate that, hacker. But that was, I knew I was getting that. Actually, I have a better idea after this. Hugo, Hugo, say something good about yourself and then we're going to do one about each other. So like the one to our right or to our left. <laughs> oh See, no. That, 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 that would bring unity. Well, that does well, bring unity. I like that I have the foresight to buy a pizza for when I get home. Hey! hey! Nice. Right Hugo, what do you like about me? Oh, yes. <laughs> Come. I like your passion for me <laughs> and cheese. It's admirable. Tom, what do I like about Tom? I I like that Tom is a motivator. He, he motivates everyone around him to be the best version of themselves that they can. Corey, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> what do you like about Ed, Tom? Uh, do you know what? I like Ed's sense of fashion. Like, he went out yesterday and he looked amazing in his suit. Yes. He looked amazing. He looked yes. classic. He looked cool. It, I loved it. Uh, it's the first time that I've worn anything that's vaguely like a suit in my entire... <laughs> like, I think since probably my high school prom. Oh. He looked like... He, he, I don't own a suit. It's very like weird for me. I did. Yes. Except I was wearing a red flag. You know what? I I forgot about Evan. Oh yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I, I think what I think from, you skip two people. <laughs> I, th I think what we'll do. I think what we'll do is we'll make Evan say what he likes about Maddie, and then we'll make Maddie say what she likes about Evan. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that's not how you play this the game, Evan. Three months. You're a fashion style. Thank you. You are a gorgeous, gorgeous bitch. Go on, Maddie. Do would like to apologise for the use of <laughs> Yes, he also there. swore, yeah. Big no-no. Uh, but you can wait till after I've said what I liked for Evan, which is amazing sense of humour. Thank you. I'd like and to I second that. I do sincerely apologise for any offence that was... Hold on, hold on. We'll, we'll all read it together in a second. Okay. <laughs> Ed, what, what do you like about our hacker friends? <laughs> I like that they're here and that they're willing to hang out with us. <laughs> They, they, they've, made the they've made a decision in their lives. I didn't think the bar was that, And I'm not though. sure if they've really made the right decision. <laughs> yeah, go on. Go on, hackers. Oh, sorry, I've got the mic now. What were we saying? 
what, what do you like about each other? Oh, I don't know. Brandon's got a, an interesting, uh, interesting uh, fashion. Makes some interesting fashion decisions. I'm not saying they're they're wrong. They're just interesting. And he's looking a little bit like I don't know, a little bit kind of a little bit funky. Is I was gonna say there's some reggae vibes with this sort of like red and green and yellow. It's all it's all coming yeah. together. So uh, I'm I'm it's 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 nice to have like a, a this sort of this 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 reggae Brandon thing next the to reggae me. hacker king. Now you need to say something nice back. Well, like the ad, it's not reggae, it's a football shirt <laughs> from a Northern Irish football team. So uh, Northern Ireland reggae. is the origin of reggae, is what you're saying. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> um, I like that Ollie turns up. Like, he got a message in or before this started saying, can you go do the radio? And here he is. So nice. Uh, he's dependable. Thanks, Ollie. We like, need people like Ollie. That. We need to come to right, and now... Everyone needs to say something nice about the King of France, Hugo. Oh, that's it. Everyone, easy. what do I do to deserve this? I love your name. I love your name. Thank you. I love your connections to French royalty. Right. I love the fact you've got just such a good vibe. You've got a podcast vibe, but also you have the same vibe of a French monarch. So it's a very weird vibe, but I love it. <laughs> you have beautiful hair that a French monarch would be very proud of. Thank you. Uh, I don't. I don't like kings, <laughs> <laughs> but you're my favourite king. Oh, I was gonna say, um, yeah, it's it, there's a little bit of like Jack White look look alikeism in in the room, and and it's it's a it's a it's a fat vibe because Jack White is a boss, and it is uh, it's it's great to see. Point. I just like the fact he bought a pizza for after this. Like, that's just <laughs> yes. forward thinking. Oh, yeah, I know what I get like. <laughs> All right. Before thanks, thanks, everyone. I really appreciate that. I, I, I needed that. We, we love you, we Hugo. We love you, Hugo. Thanks. Okay, before we do the hackers quiz, let's go to a bit of Paul McCartney. Too many people. We are back with mead and cheese, and Evan, the Greek god, did unfortunately say a very inappropriate word before. So what we're going to do is everyone in the studio will pay for this mistake and read the apology at the same time. Are we ready? I'm gonna, I'm gonna I don't even know what this apology is. is. Can you tell me what page it's on, please? So, yeah. You get the pages? You got it? We're we ready? Yeah. Are you no, ready? I don't know yeah. what page it's oh, on. Mad. Oh, wait, wait, where is it? Hold yeah. on. Oh, it's over yeah. there. Get it, get it. All right, so here you go. Okay, you three are reading it there. Give us a second. You three are reading it there. What page and we is it will on? read it here. Oh, oh, yeah, so got got to one of them. <laughs> it is on page four. 11. 11. Page 11. Feels like a carol there service. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course. So, you ready? Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Hold on. I have an idea. We're like going to be in the left ear. Uh, uh, no. They're going to be in the right ear. Oh, perfect. Oh, goodness me. And they're going to be in the middle. <laughs> the stereo yes. apology. <laughs> yes. Stereo. Are you ready? Are we ready? Wait, 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 wait. Come on. Come on, Maddie. And remember to say it into the nation is waiting. Come on. Yes. What you doing? I'll put us all back in the centre for now. <laughs> While we wait for the apology <laughs> to start. <laughs> this is the most ambitious cross collaboration since Band Aid, and I'm all here for it. <laughs> exactly. Oh, this is much more. This like is apology aid. Since than Band Aid. <laughs> yeah, why are we at Wembley right now? Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Wembley. Are we ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Three. Two, two, one. I, I do sincerely apologise for any offence that was caused by the use of language slash the language, language used in that song. song. I would like to highlight that my language, the language heard, does not reflect the views, opinions or stance of Demon FM. Sorry once again. Let's move on with the show. <laughs> Continue the show and do not refer to incident again. <laughs> <laughs> I will now refer to the incident again so we can apologize again. No, 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 we'll do it in Greek. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll do it in Greek later. Um, so, hackers, you've prepared a quiz for us all to do. I, I mean, I've got questions so far. Does, is all of you Yeah, we've, we've got some questions, yeah. Let's do it. Let's go, let's go. All right, go. I'll allow my colleague to go first. I was going to say, do you want to interleave? But yeah, I'll, I'll kick it off. So, pretty, pretty straightforward one. What does HTML stand for? Oh. Right. Wait. HTML? Hyper, hyper transfer mother link. It, well, okay. Here are your options. Is it hypertext 
moderation language. Ooh. Hippo tries making licorice. Yeah, it's got me that one. Hypertext markup lingo or hypertext markup language. What was the first one again? Can you repeat the first and that fourth was, ones? That was hypertext uh, moderation language, I want to say. Is Medium that what I said? Medium language? Something. Uh, it's on the, the screen. The, well, we have an option. That we <laughs> Uh, I, I, I don't want to jump. It also shows on our screen as well. Oh, yeah, 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 that's fine. Oh, it does. Yeah. Hold on. We wait. can actually see. You're, not, the you're not allowed to look at it, Evan. Hey, but what can I do? It's like Evan, in front of Evan, me. Evan, stop cheating. I'm not cheating. It's you know in front what? You know what, Evan? Right. Evan, Evan, you're not allowed to play. You're the referee. Yeah. What? You're a You've hacker, Evan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Cool. Ed, Ed, no, We're never gonna get I, that I, back I, on. Really? Oh, it's on that one off as well. Yeah. Okay. Oh Jesus. Well, that went well. Corey, Evan, okay. you go uh, yeah. where Hugo is. You can't see the screen. Wait, now. hold on. We're, we're fine. Oh, we're Ed, fine. I'm not Ed, Ed is a genius and has genius. fixed it. Yeah. Well done, Ed. Right. Work smart, not hard. I've got songs on this monitor. As we're, a uh, just I've so you know, uh, we're all beautiful men in here. We're not known for our brains. We're also known for our beauty. That's the only thing we have. I'm sorry. <laughs> what, Speak I'm for yourself. You can't advertise I'm the beauty Uga. on a radio show. Well, I'm a... But yeah, hypertext markup language. Yeah, yeah I, I also think number four. I think number four. It, w it was moderation okay, language or markup so language. Right? It was number four. Both I'm just going to give you. I that think right I now. think moderation language okay. is like it's trying too hard. It is trying too hard. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's, it's a possibility. I did like the hippo licorice one. I like the hippo. I, that's literally why I chose the question. I just, I just really enjoyed the the, hip, the <laughs> idea of a hippo trying to make licorice. <laughs> so, so we all got that one. I kind of wish it was that. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a point, each. I'll, it's, I'll keep up in the noggin. Is that, is that a warning you get if you're in like the desert, like wherever hippos live on the savanna? Hippos make licorice. Yeah, yeah there's like a particular yeah, you, type you, of you sign, sort right? Of walking along, and then you see that like the bassets man. <laughs> Yes. The Grishal Sons man is there, and there's a hippo making him. Alright, number two, Owen. Okay, number two. Or, nice. Yeah. What is the major difference between an ethical hacker and a cracker? And we're not talking <laughs> Jacob's Crackers, although actually other brands are available. Um, but yeah, uh, we're talking here, yeah, we're talking crackers, i.e. Um, well, well th that, this is this is, this is the question. An ethical really hacker is ethical. <clears throat> well, this is the thing. So. Option A what is, is ethical? the fact that an ethical hacker has authorization from the owner of the target. Mm -hmm. yeah. B is the ethical hacker is just a cracker who's getting paid. Ooh. C, the ethical hacker does not use the same techniques or skills as a I'm cracker. I'm saying A. Or D, the ethical hacker does it strictly for financial motives, unlike a cracker. No, I feel like a. crackers definitely a. have financial motives in mind. I think you should have um, authorization. I, I think authorization, yeah. Like when we ask you to hack the Demon FM website. And, and we didn't and we do decline. it because, yeah, we, we, yeah, we can't. People are, famously legally. <laughs> people are famously asked to have their websites hacked, haven't they? To make sure that they're uh, yeah. Yeah. fairly. Sound. So I think that's what ethical hackers do. They do, they do it for people who want it. Any financial thing is like, well, obviously you're getting paid for it because you know that's your job. Yeah, yeah. What was number? F was it free? So A is yeah. authorization from the owner of the target. Yeah. B is basically you're just a cracker who's getting paid. C is they don't use the same techniques or skills as a cracker. So that's ethical hackers versus yeah yeah and uh, D is using uh, is basically ethical hackers do it strictly for financial motives unlike crackers who maybe you know do it for political reasons. I think you guys could be crackers if you wanted to be. I mean, we, I, we I, all I, are. But we're, we're just really yeah. lucky that you're on the light side. Mm. Yeah, white hats only. Uh, I'm, I'm just call her Malik and Skywalker. Here, <laughs> I'm split <laughs> between two and. You four. were the chosen one. <laughs> C is definitely off the table because if yeah. you were a hacker in the bad sense, yeah. you would already have tried all the good techniques, right? You're yeah, more likely yeah. to use a wider range of techniques than the yeah. good person, as it goes. I, th I think the good person knows all the bad techniques. They just use them for to, the right they? means. I think it's an authorization thing. Yeah, it's whether because they've got permission to Because you would hire an ethical it, yeah. hacker to make sure that you're, you know, whatever you're doing is mm. you know, protected. Mm. So I think, I think it's the first one. I think it's number one. Yeah. It is the first one. It it's the first one. It's, okay. it's basically, yeah. Get I was going to go for number two, so yeah. I would have been wrong. Yeah, yeah. It, you asked for the answer first, very and squirmy. then you give out the yeah. answer. Oh, yeah. sorry. It's, it's, no, it's a, it's a very squirmy one. Um, yeah. Obviously, you know, if, 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 essentially, you could argue that ethical hackers are just crackers who get paid, but obviously, <laughs> they... they <laughs> uh, yes, they might not necessarily have uh, cracking experience, i.e. black hat hacking, evil, naughty hacking experience. Yeah. So... Hacking. 
Yeah. It's, uh, it's yeah. yeah they, maybe they moonlight. Maybe they don't. Let's. But yeah, you get, you get hit the nail on the head, Hugo, because a lot of people who do it ethically will know the same techniques as people who are doing it unethically. It's just the case of. Are they allowed to use it? But are they given permission to use it when they're getting the authorization? And normally, no. I'll give an example: DDoS. You're never going to have an ethical hacker using a DDoS whenever they're doing a test because that's just ridiculous. Yeah. That's like getting a grenade out to kill a spider. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Okay, then number three. It's a little squirmy. Blank is a configuration on a computer system that bypasses security controls. Okay. Generally, added by the original developer for some legitimate access, which may also be used by a hacker in a malicious way. Is it open as admin? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not Question open as four. Admin. <laughs> <laughs> Is it just back door? What do we think? Do we have options? Could you repeat yeah. the question, this, this one doesn't have options. This doesn't, okay. this doesn't have options. Could, could you repeat the question then? So what do you call a configuration on a computer system which bypasses security controls, generally added by the original developer for some legitimate access, but may also be used by is a malicious actor. Is this like on any Console software, command. or is this no, like... No, no, no. I like the sound of whoever said backdoor. Minecraft. Is, is this like any like software, the sound is this of the like the operating system? I don't want to say I like the sound of the backdoor. I know you could like open Windows <laughs> in safety yeah. mode. I think that, that sounds... It's like, normally like other applications, but the operating system at the end of the day is just software. It would be things uh, like web applications and stuff would normally have these in for... Uh, making sure things are configured properly, making sure things can be repaired properly and stuff, but obviously if it's in the web so they can be used by malicious actors as well. Is this like a firework, uh, firework, firewall situation where you like allow on private networks? Is it the sort of thing that shows up when you hit a certain thing on your keyboard and you just never pay attention to it? We cannot answer that for yeah. the sake of this question. Right. I, I'm going to say open as administrator. All right. What about you, Hugo? I go for back door, but I'm a little unsure. And no, I'm going for the back door. Yes. And I'm, I'm sticking with console command. I think it's a back door or a backup something. Do you want to have a guess, Maddie? I'm good. I'm liking these answers. This is not. So I'm the a the answer is back door. Oh yay! Oh rude. The back door. So Hugo's winning at the minute. Oh, two for two. Wait, I'm, Evan, I'm Evan, actually Hugh, a hacker no, now. Hugo and Evan are both in, yes. in the same place. So what's console yes. commanding? Is that is that? That's a that's command a on a console. A <laughs> yeah, oh. it's um, it, it's it's oh, something. Sorry. So a lot of times when you're administrating a system remotely, you yeah. will have access over um. Well, you'll have like a remote console access, so you'll you'll be able to. Uh, it's like like remote teletype. It's like a slightly old um, old school. Uh, uh, lingo, but yeah, basically you you have keyboard, you have hand-on keyboard access yeah. over the internet, or um, yeah, between different networks. So um, yeah, in that situation, you'd be you'd be inputting console commands just by te typing, essentially text, uh, in, and just hitting enter, you know, hitting return, and um, yeah, issuing issuing commands. So you know, yeah, nice. I I always struggle with console commands or anything like that because I can't spell. Yes, I, yeah. that makes things a, a big pain. It does, especially <laughs> when you are uh, not familiar with some of the anglicisations versus some of the Americanist. Uh, oh, rude! <laughs> that's that, that's annoying. Lumin Americans and their Americanisms. Yeah, yeah, is it, yeah so exactly. is, is it the American American version you have to use? No, it's so it's the American version is wrong. Yeah. And then basically, no, I'm joking. You can't um, say that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, it's, it's essentially, correct. yeah, no, essentially because of the the, the the way that tools are created historically, it, it um, yeah, it, there's a bit of a, a precedent in in, um, in networking and things like that. Obviously, you know, the, the you know history of going back to ARPANET and things like this. Um, yeah, there's a lot of commands that that you know, frankly, are yeah, cr Americanist, um, Americanized, but. Um, yeah, not always. It's it's that's why it's so it's so messy here. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I can I can accept it in console commands, seeing as like US American is US American? US English is mm. probably more spoken. It is than the more UK widespread English. yeah. But I will not accept that when I'm typing an essay on a library computer Ooh. when I use a UK English spelling it says it's wrong. You get a little red squiggle, you're like, hang on, no. I'm like this word should not have a Z in it. <laughs> it should have an S. Ooh. Yes. It's quite different. ironic that US English tries to get the U out as much as possible. Just wanted mm. the S's everywhere. That's mm. not right. Yeah. Mm. All right. Right. Carry yes, on? indeed. So we have a uh, question. I'm going to say question. Uh, depends. Four? We've got a couple. Yeah. Three. Um, four? I, I was going to say three or four. 
let's 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 call it. I think it's four. four. I yeah. think it's four. So, which which of these password creation strategies is the most secure and why? Okay, it's 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 binary. So option A, you you grab a, a few symbols, numbers, upper and lowercase letters, and you make it nice and complex. Nice. Or B, you just choose a combination of three random dictionary words, maybe a number or two. I think maybe the second one because you know you fr you said you're throwing in some numbers and symbols as well with that one. Mm -hmm. You know, getting like three random dictionary words that is that could be more characters than the first option. I feel it like could. it's the first one because if you are trying to break into something, say you use the program to try and do it, it's going to go through all the words in the dictionary first because people are more likely to use words, aren't they? Mm, like right, names, names of pets, places they've been. Whereas if you just pick some random characters and letters, that that's not in the dictionary. Tom, I think and Hugo's too smart for this show. I don't think we should invite him back. <laughs> the yeah. dictionary is literally <laughs> the biggest <laughs> database for words there is. Right? You're right about that one. You have so a point. So I think it would be the first one just to pick some random stuff. But I'm imagining like a software that like goes through every letter. Like it go A, 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 B, A, A, C, A, A, D. What, Microsoft like Excel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess the best but hacking So, so I, I don't think like putting actual words would um, would affect that software. But if you've got a software that like looks for specific words first... And uses the dictionary as its database, then yeah, maybe. Psst, for the same software. <gasps> what do we reckon then? What's so, what's what's the well, consensus? Hugo has then? convinced me to change my answer. Mm. So I'm gonna go with the I'm first one is more one. secure. I'm the first one as well. I may be full of. I it, really but don't know. Yeah, um, I'm very convinced by Hugo's dictionary argument. And you, you would, you you like would put something like something you <laughs> know, dictionary. and the words we know are the words in the <laughs> English dictionary, right? <laughs> but the if you just put like A, 6, B, 2... I can whatever. confirm that yeah. the password for all of the Mead and Cheese accounts are Mead23. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Mead and Cheese 69? Because Evan, you're not supposed to tell people our password. <laughs> God, I'm sorry. My heart rate actually just raised though when you said it's that. It's fine because people will try it and then they will realize it's a virus that sends all our nudes to their phones. Oh my God! That's a very good <laughs> Well, virus. now I would try you it. You got yeah. my nudes? <laughs> I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> Are we allowed to talk about nudes on the radio? Probably not. Oh my Evan, God. get the apology. We, 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 yep, 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 yep. yep. <laughs> right. we, we've got this. In, in Ofcom, you're not allowed to explicitly discuss sec um, nudity. I can confirm that we are all fully clothed in the studio. <laughs> Corey's wearing a very nice sure. white shirt today. Yeah. And Evan's wearing a nice white shirt with like a lines on it. Oh my god, we do match. Yeah. Yeah. We do match. Me and Evan, we, we are. We are that team. Yeah. We're the young bucks. He's great. All right, so um, we're going to press you for an answer. So you're the you're first you're option, first option. Yeah. I'm going I'm I'm to Anglo copy God. Hugo's yeah. homework and go with him. First is. answer. This is going to be so I'm bad if I'm wrong. <laughs> you're yeah. going with B? Uh, I'm going with A. I think A's more secure. Okay, well, the answer is complicated, oh. as, you know, it, it usually is in security. Um, it's it's up for debate. It's technically both. The, yeah, oh. it's, it's, it's sort of both. I said it was both. Ah, yes, However... So A is really good if you have the likes of a password manager and stuff like that. It can generate passwords that are combinations of symbols, letters, numbers, etc, etc. And they can be, as long as you can fit them into the password field, I've got a password that is 50 characters long. That's not being hacked anytime soon. But the problem of that we'll is... We'll see. You can try. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a very long password. I can't remember that, so it's my password manager. So the the second option's better because if you know what those three random words are, you're gonna rem this is your student you're gonna remember <laughs> what your password is. Whereas if you have to try and remember random numbers and symbols in a sequence, that's not gonna work. And but of course, if you don't want your passwords being hacked, then you should use our sponsor, NordVPN. Yes. NordVPN <laughs> is <laughs> no, we're not actually sponsored. Go on. <laughs> and also, a VPN won't help your passwords either. <laughs> You should get the Nord Password Manager. <laughs> Sorry, go on. No, it's it's a tricky one because, um, like Brandon was saying, it's it's got to be something that you that's usable, right? You can't just have it, you know. Like I, I don't know about you, but I struggle to remember just random, you know, well pseudo random or random indeed, you know, uh, colon. Well, you know, you know what you won't a, struggle to remember. Our sponsor, Raid Shadow oh. Legends. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Raid Shadow Legends is a mobile game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we really need to get the We wish we were sponsored. We, we were talking about sponsorships earlier um, and merch. Um, so if you apology. would like to keep an eye out for any, ho- uh, not hoist merch, you could you could also get hoist lemonade merch. But if you would like to keep an eye out for mead and cheese merch, that might be coming soon. Anyway, do continue. Right then. So on to Ollie's yeah. last question. Question five. Yes. A malware infected networked host under remote control of a hacker. Okay. A malware infected networked host under remote control of attacker is commonly referred to as A. A Trojan B. A worm C. A bot or D. A honeypot A honeypot would Could you be more related Give me the question one more time a popular one. Like it's a popular virus but Okay. Tell me again the definition of the question because yeah. I don't think it's a virus what we're talking about. A malware infected networked host under remote control of a hacker. <sighs> so it's it's a machine which is remotely controllable by a hacker because it is infected with malware. See, I know what a honeypot is. What, what is a honeypot, Tom? It, it, it's something you ferment me. <laughs> <laughs> I know because of the Trojan horse. Yeah. I know Trojan is supposed to go like undercover and basically. Once That's you what I'm basing my yeah. on as yeah. well. So Trojan horse. Yeah. But here's the thing: so I'm not sure that it actually gives you control. Yeah. Maybe it doesn't. I can we have the I'll options give you the options again? again. Absolutely. So option A, Trojan. Option B, worm. Option C, bot. Option D, honeypot. So we've got Isn't Trojan, worm, yeah. bot, honeypot. Yeah. I, I don't think it's a bot. I don't think it's a bot. A, a bot isn't really very intrusive, is it? Yeah. A bot, I don't think, would have a person behind it either. But, so what well, I remember from Mr. Robot... Well, a bot isn't controlled by a human, Here's is the it? Thing. There was a thing in China called the honeypot strategy. Go on. Uh, so they used the word honeypot to describe using a woman to basically drive two men to kill each other. Fact. I mean, so, that that sort of definition so they did that with um, how are they called? The uh, the, uh, so emperor's yeah. wives, uh, emperor's concubines. Concubines. Yes, they used concubines. So, uh, concubines. Uh, <laughs> concubines. Leave alone. This is the song for the I'm dyslexic too. When I was we'll start bracing for answers now, then. Sorry about that. Demon FM would like to apologise. We will do the apology again soon. When I when I was doing um, when I was watching Mr. Robot, I know they spoke about a honeypot on it in one of the first episodes, and I I can't remember if it was like a duplicate website where they went on, but there was loads of hacks in it, you know, like loads of naughty hacks. I think it is. It's a very good show, Mr. Robot. It's actually quite accurate as well. So yeah. it would be like if you typed in like cornbob dot com, yeah, and mm. then it takes you to a, a dodgy website instead mm. of the website you're actually that, looking that for. That hub for trading corn for what the yeah. 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 farmers yeah. go to, yeah. Bot oh, worm or honeypot. I I, I want to say I'm gonna go with worm. I'll go with honeypot. What are we thinking? A worm kind of furrows itself underground, doesn't it? So yeah. I'm thinking literally, I'm not really thinking in the sense yeah, of me too. computers. Yeah, right. Hugo's too clever for this. I'm really not, I'm stumped. I, I think I'm going to go for Honeypot, because I heard it in Mr. Robot, and that's my reason. Honeypot it's is quite nice, thing. given the association with mead. But yeah. I'm, I'm, like it's, I must say, you hand in the honeypot, basically. unfortunately, the answer is bot. Oh, oh, how is it a bot? Well, so uh, a lot of different computers that have been taken over by an attacker will be part of a botnet, so that they use for things like DDoS attacks and stuff. So normally, when there's a massive DDoS now, it's a lot of devices. They're normally now IoT devices, like so, like smart speakers and stuff. Hmm. And if that host has been infected with malware, uh, they are known as a bot in the botnet. Uh, Trojan, as you have said, is uh, when something looks very good and it comes into your computer and then, oh, you've got malware. Um, You can have ability to get access for a Trojan, but it isn't the name of the host that's already been infected. So a a Trojan would be like if you're downloading a Minecraft mod. Yeah, Yeah. so say you download a Minecraft mod and instead of being the normal file path, it's, you know, pixelmon.exe. That there yeah. would be a red flag for us. You open that up. You don't see any, you, oh, this is a bad mod pack. It doesn't have the mod. You delete it, and then the Trojan's in your system. Yeah, Often disguising yeah. itself as a f- function that you use, like 
WordPad or just a normal Windows function, and then, well, it attacks. Yeah. Uh, what was the honeypot? Honeypot is, it's like a fake part of a website where they put information that looks true but normally isn't to entice hackers in. Oh, it's it's used like by uh, researchers to find out what sort of techniques are being used by attackers, oh. but also it can be used to find out where attackers are attacking from and stuff. Yeah, it's yeah, not just the web, it's nice. like any a lot of different technologies. So basically that what the FBI would, in a fantastical scenario, yeah. would use. Yeah. Well, quite, yeah, there's, there's been... Hypothetically, yes. Yeah, Hypothetically, there's been a quite... we're not talking about <laughs> regular stuff. Hypothetically! No, there's been, there's been quite a few examples of um, Very yeah, good honeypots being, being carried out by law enforcement where, you know, yeah. uh, there's been a few encrypted messaging apps where they say, oh, use this encrypted messenger and that then all of a sudden it gets popped and a, a, a ton so of so criminals we, get owned. We have another five questions coming our way, yes? Yes, there's another five questions. Shall we do that after a bit of John Lennon? Yeah, that works for me. What gets you through the night? I know what gets me through the night. It is mead and cheese. Nope. Tom, can we have an update on the poll? Okay, so <laughs> our poll is uh, mozzarella has taken a cracking lead. Oh, uh, wow. 66.7% lead uh, for mozzarella. And that's also um, on Instagram. Mozzarella is also in the lead on the poll there. So... Um, if you do want to try and change the tide of this adventure, this no. fight, which one counts more? The if Twitter mozzarella or wins, the I will quit. <laughs> uh, they both count. I normally go off the, the Twitter, but if it's cl- I like, go, uh, but I co- the, the I compile vote the votes together because I can know how many people have voted anyway. So it's all it's all fair. Um, so, guys, if you're in this room or if you're listening. Please make sure you go to Demon FM on Twitter to vote or Mead and Cheese on Instagram to vote. And try, let's see if we can uh, turn the tide on Cheddar if you're a Cheddar supporter. But if you're a mozzarella supporter, let's double down and let's make this home run. (laughs) Okay, I think we should continue with the hackers quiz. We will just wait until the King of France sits down. Yep. DJ Mustard, the King of France, Jack White 2, Electric Boogaloo, Wait, Jack White 2, Hugo Jones. There's one thing with DJ Mustard, like there's already a DJ Mustard. There isn't a DJ Mustard. He's an American he's producer. Producer. He's quite a big American producer. I only well, said DJ Mustard because that's the only thing Norwich is famous Well, he's D. John for. Mustard. Okay. You are okay. DJ Mustard. I am not being DJ Gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, are we going back? We are going back to yes! more hackers questions. Oh my god, I'm so excited. It's okay, you can look at the screen this time because I am yeah, uh, doing the questions off my phone. So, nice. currently I think Hugo's in the lead. Mm. Uh, yeah, Hugo's in the lead. With yeah. one Hugo's point definitely in the lead, yeah. With one point. Hugo's a genius. <laughs> one point over me. Guys, you, you're really like gassing me up tonight. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> the poll, is it on Mead and Cheese Instagram or Demon FM Instagram? Uh, it is on the Mead and Cheese Instagram and the Demon FM um, Twitter. For some reason, because of all the password changing we've done, because we've been super secure recently, uh, we 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 have I've actually lo- been logged out of my my Mead and Cheese Twitter on my phone, so I just didn't put it on. Yeah, that's not that's um, not. What by the way, the Instagram poll is currently fifty fifty. Mm. Um. Vote for cheddar. I'm Vote going by cheddar. the Instagram Vote poll. Does that spell? Yes. Wait, no, there's less votes. All right, okay. There's less votes yeah. on the Instagram poll. Going back to the quiz. Okay. Question number six. And all my questions are multiple choice because I actually like you guys and I don't want to break your brains. I mean, it kind of did. The open ended one, we were like, oh. Which of the following hacking groups aren't the real hacking group? Okay. Is it A, the Shadow Brokers? Okay. Is it B, Comfy Bear, or is it C, Anonymous? I know Anonymous. Come on, we all know Anonymous. Well, I know Anonymous is real. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, this could be a trick question. You know, what? I'm I'm going with Anonymous as the fake one because they're not really a thing. They're just a group of people who pretend that they exist, well, but they don't know if they're part of Anonymous. I'm break like up that joke in the IT did, crowd. They did took down a thousand five hundred Russian websites. Yeah, but are, are, but are they a thing, though? Are oh, they like a collective? Th- here's yeah. a question, just breaking off from the quiz a second. Are, would Anonymous be classed as ethical hackers or crackers? Crackers. They, yeah, they, 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 they were, I think they were classified as a terrorist organisation at yes, one exactly. point. Um, yeah. yeah, very, very difficult to classify. It's very, it's very tricky. They're a ragtag group. That you, you could 
Yeah, but in war right. times when they're targeting Russia, well, quite. It's it's, it's still what's hacked. It's, it's, it's still not ethical. Yeah. I don't think vigilantism. Mm. Yes, it's, it's ethical, yeah. but not it's, uh, ethical. Illegal. It it depends on your definition of ethical, I suppose. It depends on your morals. Depends on a lot yeah. of things. But yeah. Uh, yeah. So can we have the options again, please? So we have A, the Shadow Brokers. That sounds real. We have B, Comfy Bear. And C, Anonymous. I'm going with Anonymous, because Comfy Bear is the exact name that someone would come up with for a... Like, um, and the the thing, thing is, Shadow Brokers is sounds like yeah. a hacking group, which is why I think that's just a bit... Group, right? I think that's a bit what, of a um, that Trojan right? horse. What was the question? It was which of these isn't a real hacking, a group? Real hacking group? So so I'm going to go with Shadow Brokers, I think you put that in there to purposely make us go, oh, that sounds like it could be a hacking group. They are a hacking group. Um, Anonymous are a hacking group. I'm going to go with Shadow Brokers. Yeah. Right, so we've got two Shadow Brokers. Ed, what is yours? I'm going with Anonymous. I'm going Anonymous too because there are a lot more um, than just I, I, ju I just like the idea of there being one called Comfy Bear. Yeah. And yeah. Hugo? I think I'll go for A, the Shadow Brokers. I can confirm that the fake hacking group is Comfy Bear. Oh. So, so see, I think we need to is. form a hacking yeah. group now. The uh, the <laughs> meat and cheese hacking. So hacking Comfy, Bear. Comfy Bear. So We're Shadow hackers. Brokers <laughs> are basically the reason that WannaCry happened. They hacked the NSA, stole a lot of tools, and sold them on, and that led to WannaCry amongst other things. Anonymous was. A, now are basically just used by script kiddies as a handle so they can go oh yeah i'm, I'm late i'm a hacker it was a legitimate yeah, hacking organization for a couple of years um mm. comfy bear is uh, a very mean one because there is a hacking organization known as cozy bear uh, which is okay. a russian apt uh group um for obvious reasons i uh, i'm not taking a stance on this but uh, yeah, APTs, by the way, just in case anybody's thinking what the heck what the uh, heck is APT mean? Advanced Persistent Threat. It's an Advanced Persistent Threat, which is basically like a sort of a nation-state level, very high, very advanced, yeah, very advanced uh, hacking group. And depending on the country they're from, they've got interests in name. If they're from Russia, they're Bear. If they're from Iraq, I'm pretty sure they are Tigers. If yeah. they're from China, they are Dragons. It's yeah. quite interesting. The we, there is not a name for so British would, or would American. Would England be uh, Lion? Uh, Scotland could be like the Unicorn? A, the United Kingdom does not have a animal because we do not engage in any offensive security. Yeah, well. well th that's where we're going wrong, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, no comment on that one. We, we, we should have the, um, yeah. The UK's it's not the uh, yeah, right. movies. Question it's seven. Community the UK bear. pigeons. For question seven, I'm also going to give uh, what they do to kind of help you along. So who's in the lead currently? Is it still Hugo? Uh, well, none of you's got that answer correct. So Hugo, by definition, is in the lead oh still. God, is that oh. the Ooh. Okay. Yes. Question number seven. Which of these isn't a type of malware? Is it A, a rat? Is it B, a worm? Or is it C, a snail? So we had worm before. So I think worm is a type of malware. Um, rat sounds like something that would be named for a malicious thing. So I'm going to go with snail. I will go with snail because snail... No, 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 no. I believe snail is a thing. I believe... That you will name something snail that takes too long to take effect. Yeah, yeah it makes and your computer you slower or something. I was going to actually give you the definitions to go along with these as well. Oh, go you, on, you go on, go on. So a rat is a attacking tool that you use remotely. Okay. A worm is a bit of software that writes itself many, many, many times and eventually leads to your computer slowing down to the point worm. where it can't be used and eventually breaking. And a snail is a program that does the same, but its intention is to slow down your computer. You see, I could believe that a software that slows down your computer would be called a snail. Yeah. But seeing as we had worm in one of the previous questions, I'm going to say that that is what it is. So I'm going to go with snail being the one that's not real. I would go with rat. I would You're go going with, with rat as well. Okay, so I'm going rat. So we've got snail, rat, 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 rat. The real one uh, is uh, rat. So Snail is the fake one, so Ooh. the only one who got that right is Corey. Yes. Does that make me and Hugo tie? Yes. yes. I think it does. Right. This, is get, this is getting tight. This question Next here... Round, we've got um, basically five. Okay. 
Th this question here, my colleague here called me a very naughty word whenever he's seen this question. <laughs> so this is your warning <laughs> in advance. How many port numbers are there in the TCP range? Is there A, 65,535, B, 6,555, or C, 635? Can we have that again, please? Of course. How many port numbers are there in the TCP range? Is it A, 65,535? Is it B, 6,555? Or is it C, 635? B. I'm, I'm going to go down the middle as well. I'm going to oh go boy. B. I'm, I'm I'm going with B because the only times I've ever seen like port numbers is when I'm doing stuff with OSC and there's only ever four numbers. What are the numbers? What's the highest number you've seen in these ports? I have no idea. <laughs> right, so oh, oh. B B B B. <laughs> what about you, Tom? Uh, Tom. I don't really know what ports are. Port numbers. I'll be honest, I have no idea what they are uh, either, but I thought I've got one in three chance, so I'm just saying a letter. <laughs> it's hard. Because that, you know, thousands of hearts, that's a lot of ports. you got to fit each port on as well. But you want a lot of ports, don't you? Yeah, but do you need that many ports? Or how many ports do you have at home? Well, there's two ports for web pages. There is port 80, which is uh, HTTP, and there is port 443, which is HTTPS. One is secure and one is non-secure. I think it's 800... Uh, no, I'm not going to say random. I think it's the one in the hundreds, B. That's A, isn't it? No, the yeah, one in the hundreds was C. 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 So C. Oh, yeah, because yeah, B. Okay. So who went A, sorry? A. You went A. And everyone else went B, and he went C. The correct answer is A. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot. I'm saying these two, it's like... A lot of them aren't used. Uh, in a normal computer, a lot of them aren't used. It's more um, just how computers work with numbers. That's how we've got such a high number. And that, they've been around for a very long time, haven't the port numbers? Oh, cracky, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I know that if you wanted to host a Minecraft server on Minecraft Java, you used to have to port forward your router. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That we're, not starting, we're not talking in the port forward, uh, and that's, that's going to make me cry. Big up port 27015. Yeah. My brain is getting freezed, and I'm like... Alright. This is the last hacking question. Ooh. Go on. Which of these hacking methods isn't real? A. Wi-Fi hacking. B. People hacking. No. C. Web application hacking. Or D. All of these are real hacking methods. I have a question about the people hacking. Uh, I'm going to go with so all of them are real. To what extent is people hacking a thing? Because obviously none of us is That's the thing. computers. It's be a trap. Yeah. Like, How do you it hack a like person? Yeah, but well, if someone's got like you mean a pacemaker. Yeah. I think if he hacks that. that. Yeah. Well, I no, 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 no. I'm to get dark twist. I've it's hacked like a pacemaker, oh, but that was I'm, at the I'm end of what? I'm going to hack the grandma's life support. What? Uh, <laughs> is that people hacking? No, I, uh, people hacking, and I'll, I'll give you this uh, just as a bit of knowledge after the question is uh, it's redacted for now, but you'll find out after the question if it's a real thing or not. So yeah. I, I, I think, think it's real. I think, I think people think hackers not like hacking like if they have like a pacemaker or anything. I think it's more like you know uh, me trying to trick Hugo into giving me his password to his Reddit account. Don't look at me like that, because I'll give it to you. Yeah, exactly. Like, look at look at me. Go on, Hugo. Tell yeah. everyone. I'll tell everyone, everyone on the tell radio us, right Tell now. us. Everyone wants to know, Hugo. Sadly, I'm not on Tell us your password, Hugo. Hey, tell us now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd also, could you give you your sort code, your account number, and, you know, when, yeah, like, cold... Oh, yeah, you know, you know, scammers, you know scammers scammers credit hacking, card. Yeah. Can you give us, like, your mother's maiden name? Yeah. I'll give you that for two cigarettes and a packet of crisps. <laughs> give me a second. <laughs> but you can't give me the cigarettes and Hugo, the Hugo, what was the name of your child's pet? What flavour? They bought them by. What flavour? I don't care, it's only my password. If he's having two cigarettes <laughs> before, it doesn't make a difference <laughs> what flavour they are. No, 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 the flavour on the crisps. <laughs> That's what, it doesn't matter what flavour the crisps are if he's having two cigarettes before. Yeah, no, 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 it matters. I, I want paprika. My password doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll take ready sauce. I, I, yeah. I want the paprika ones, yes. Yeah. All right, I'm going to start pressing for an answer. Okay. So, Hugo, what one do you think is the fake one? So, you know, I'll just go for D. Sort of all so, you think it's D, all, all of them, them exist? Because, you know, all right, I'm a Corey. I, I also think they all exist. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I think it's D as well. Uh, I'm going to go Always. a bit different with this one. I don't think Wi Fi hacking is this. Because all of my hacking sense. knowledge comes from playing the Watchdog games. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that is obviously. 
That's quite not very All good of mine comes material. from the film Hackers, and I've been told that that is wrong. <laughs> It all comes from. Uh, I, I assumed that you two would just be on I one keyboard. All of, just, like, speed, on speeding. Really? all of my hacking knowledge comes from Hacksaw Jim Duggan and okay, Idris Elba oh, being no, from Hackney. No, mm. no. All of my hacking knowledge is coming from me being I a hack it came from for years. <laughs> it's not working. No, my knowledge is so limited. So all right, just so I'm going with D as well. You're going with D, Tom. What you said? You said A, Wi-Fi hacking. Yeah, I just, I don't know how you could actually hack a Wi-Fi because it's just a connection. And, so I feel like you could use pro- probably hack something what's on on a on connected to Wi-Fi, but I don't think you can physically hack the Wi-Fi itself. Well, to the surprise of no one but Tom in this room, the correct answer is D. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can hack the router, yeah. Right? You, yeah, well, yeah, you can also intercept Wi-Fi. Uh, so what is human hacking? So people hacking is. Uh, it was alluded to where you try and pressure someone into giving you their stuff. So you mm. could do it with bribes, you could do it with threats, you could yeah. do it with blackmail. It could also be just people are stupid occasionally and write things down. And the people are normally the easiest part of a system to exploit. Yeah. Uh, we actually said this the last time we were on. Um, on every system, the biggest problem is always going to be the person because everything that we do as people is to make our lives easier. And security isn't easy. I'll say this as someone who has free passwords to get into certain applications. It's free passwords. By the time you've done your second password, you're going, come on now, I just want to see what I have to see. So at that stage, you know, you want to cut corners. It's like lap door. No, lap door's have, locked. You've got to have the same password for everything. That's yeah. that's the most secure way of doing it. Because no. it, it just makes it easier for you. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. Correction, nice correction. correction. You have different passwords for everything. These. Yes. But you keep a notebook near your computer. Because hackers, they're not going to be able to get the notebook. Because, you know, why, why would they be in my... Ha- if they're in my flat, then they're probably not going to be trying to hack into my Spotify account. But that's what human They're going to be is, there to it? steal my stuff. Human <laughs> hacking would be if I came round your house uh, under the veil of a friend and had a flick through your notepad and went, oh, Ed's password for Facebook is... Fluffy Dog Twenty Seven. I, don't know I would like to make a public is, service so announcement that if you're writing your passwords in a notepad, the please stop and please use different passwords or different applications. Thank you. So we shouldn't Wait, write our passwords in a notepad. Right no. so, uh, Why? Because what what you have said is yeah. Um, if you have it down beside your computer in your house, statistically, it's a low chance you're going to get robbed, and someone's going to look at this notepad before beside your computer and go, "That's a password." If, however, you work in an office building, etc., you write your passwords in your notepad and you leave it in your desk, whatever, there is a type yeah. of test that is done by ethical hackers uh, where they will go into an office building, they'll try to find as much information as possible, they'll be in your desk, they'll be drinking out of your mug, they'll be using your computer, and if you've given them a notepad that has all of your passwords <laughs> on it, you've made their job very easy. Yeah, see, 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 this this is why I'm brilliant, because the notepad is also just filled with random ramblings from when I was doing my f- final project last year. So, uh, some of it is passwords, some of it it is just what I was thinking that day and the amount of work that I didn't do. I, I have a question. and So please, I, I'm... Please tell me if I should stop doing this. Uh, when I set a new password, if I take a picture of what that password is on my phone... Ooh, well, your phone can be hacked too, man. To, to, to remember what it is and flick through it's my photos, is, is that a bad way of keeping my yeah, password? See, to be honest, if you call if you're going to do that, you may as well just write it down on a bit of paper. Yeah. Like... But but is having it as a picture on my phone less secure? All right, I'll ask you this question: what? Does your phone automatically back up your photos to Google Drive? I think yeah. Yeah, and does your Google Drive have a very secure password? It has the same password I use for everything. I think yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there we go. No, that's a bad idea. Do not reuse passwords. Yeah. So I've got a question then. So, so you're saying yeah, security-wise. <laughs> So you need mo- loads and loads of passwords, right? So well, no, so for security, the yeah. more secure you get, the less convenient it is for the person. Uh, ideally, yeah. the more convenient, the less secure. So you want to find somewhere in the middle because yeah. once you go past the point where it's very inconvenient to someone, they'll find ways around it. Again, I'll use this door as an example. That door requires a key to be for it to be opened. Um, I don't have a- access to that door currently, but there's another door here into the studio, which we can all see. If that door also had to be opened every time that uh, the room was being used, mm. that door would be getting propped up, which yeah. currently is being propped up. But, yeah. y- you know, that there then becomes a problem because 
at what stage you stop propping up doors or in this case start reusing passwords or mm-hmm. other bad techniques but what if you've got a really secure password that you use for everything that's not a very secure password anymore no it's it's, it's, you it's for everything. if you use it for everything then you're, sub- you're then potentially subject to what's called a credential stuffing attack where basically let's say you use that super secure password on a not very secure site for to just you know for a download or so, something that you're just doing you know once or twice or you, you know yeah. oh, i've got to quickly sign up for this i'll use my super secure password on this this you know badly designed website or whatever um mm. and then yeah, so somebody hacks that site. They they, they didn't have your super secure password, and they say, "Oh, it's uh, it's DJ underscore Mead. I wonder if I can reuse that username somewhere else with the same password." And then they go and spam. And they, literally, there are programs that, that hackers have, which is yeah. literally you just in, you put a username, put in the password, and it'll go and try and credential stuff all these credentials into a bunch of different sites, and and yeah, you, you get all of your sites will get popped at the same time. So, you know what? Yeah. You you guys having you guys on the show has awoken me into it, like being more secure it has me too but I, i've got a, a, a another question then so i have quite secure passwords like my passwords are very complex and i don't always write them down but i i i forget them like like say i yeah i i like to have one i can always remember like i, I will make a complex password but i can probably only remember one or two and then after about number two i i will just forget number three i won't remember it so how would you like recommend that people because obviously if you've got to like have a, a set amount of passwords what are complicated or how would you recommend they actually do remember them is there any tactics i, I, I just recommend a password manager to be honest yeah uh, uh, i would recommend a password manager could, could a password build build manager be, be hacked though a bad one yes um <laughs> do we have any suggestions about the good one uh i well, if you have an iPhone, there's one built in now to I'm Apple, the, the iCloud <laughs> one. It recommends passwords, and it's fairly secure. I haven't heard of it being hacked. I use LastPass personally. I've used it for well over a year. Um, it It's great. Uh, I pay for the premium membership for it, which means I can use it on my phone, I can use it on my laptop, and use it on my iPad, whatever. But there is free accounts where if you only use one device, or you only care about one device for the passwords, uh, I'm also not sponsored by LastPass. Yeah. I will put this out there. Um, where it can be Shadow used. Legends. <laughs> but, yeah, that's a, yeah. that's a very good question. Um, I recommend a password manager if you do struggle. To, and at stage, you just need one really complex password. Match your password manager. And then it remembers all your other passwords for you. Okay, that's very interesting. So, not a notepad. So no, not a notepad. No. No. Why so Why not a notepad? Like, what, what if I... If you have a really nice safe... Un- like in you know in the basement in your basement and it's like bolted into the concrete. Even then, somebody could cut into that. They could steal it. It's, it's what, where, what, where, where do I keep the password for this safe? Do I need to buy another safe <laughs> for the password for <laughs> the correct, safe? That is and then keep buying pass safe. No, you're yes. starting. To, no, you're starting to see the problem of security. <laughs> <laughs> what What if I write down all of my passwords, but I keep it like in my pocket? You, yeah, what uh, if I just like always have it around then, my neck? And then you yeah, you know, you go out drinking one night and drop it. And and them, we'll yeah, I, d- I don't know anything <laughs> about <laughs> that, do And if it's, if it's always around your neck as well, again, gets you a bit drunk, you go, hang on, can I see your your necklace there? Where you Yoink! Go? What if I keep it in my wallet? <laughs> <laughs> because I will never lose my wallet, it's very secure. Mm. What if we keep it where Captain Jack Harkness and Doctor Who kept a gun? Um, let's not go there. Where did he keep Why his gun? Not? Where do you think he kept his gun? He didn't wasn't he didn't have any trousers on. Yeah, no, he didn't have any trousers on. <laughs> oh dear. All right. Before this derails any more, I'll go into the last question, which isn't actually <laughs> happening. We have another really question. question. There's one more question. Yeah, this is the deciding question. I think. Well, yeah, yeah, I think this is the deciding question because I think me, Hugo, and Evan are yeah, all tied. Yeah, three times, yeah. So I think on this case, we're just gonna have to do a uh, finger on buzzer. The first person who okay, answers okay. correctly wins. Okay. I will only accept an answer <laughs> after I have read out all three okay. options. Okay. It's the buzzer should, should of verbal things. Some, should we come up with some buzzer names first? Mm. No, 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 no. Yeah, I just want just to shout out. I can hear you. We all have to shout a, bu- uh, a, a buzzer. Buzzer. All right. Buzzer. The answer. Buzz. all right, so. Which of these animals is the symbol of Manchester? Buzzer. Is it A, bear? Buzzer. Is it B, fox? Or is it C, B? Buzzer. Buzzer. It's, it's, um, it's a bear. Well, I, I, I think the person who said who said buzzer there first was uh, Ed, but he said the answer was B. 
I'm so gonna, I can't. I, say, I, wait, I, I I'd like to buzz. C. Well, I'd C like to buzz. I want to say it's a fox. Buzzer, buzzer. No, no. It's a very confusing buzzer. question you've come up with. <laughs> <laughs> buzzer. Well, yeah, just... I'll get. I'll give up to Ed. I really wanted to do that as the. Uh, <laughs> he he actually asked me why have you set the answer for B as fox and not as B, and I thought it's gonna be funny whenever someone shouts out B is the answer. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, so I think we've we've got a tie. Hugo and Corey are the undisputed kings of the hackers yes. quiz. I think Evans tied with us. I oh think. yeah, we're three. Don't worry, we're gonna we make the three whole, kings. The, the holy <laughs> trinity. Oh my god, we have the Triforce. We have a holy trinity. Right, I think the we need to do the apology brutal. again. So it's pass out the way. book. <laughs> everyone right, turn yeah, to yeah. page eleven. <laughs> everyone turn to page eleven. It's about oh, time. Yeah, time we have Emmons. You got the image. All right. Corey Emmons. Uh, uh, are we are we nearly ready? Evan, you gonna do it in Greek with us? Are you all, all we need, we'll, we'll all do it in English first, and then we'll get Evan to do it in Greek. Okay, okay. Are we ready? It's 12, not 11. <laughs> it's 11. We're on 12. All right, whatever. We've got different multiple edi- versions editions. of this. Okay. Ready? Three, two, two one. one. I do sincerely apologise for any offence that was caused by my use of language, the language used within that song. I would like to highlight that my language, the language heard, does not, not reflect the views, opinions, or stance of Demon FM. FM. Sorry once again, let's move on with the show. Continue the show and do not refer to the incident again. <laughs> Alright, Evan, now you're doing it in Greek. But we say, we say yeah, the punctuation. Okay. Oh, international listeners. So say it into the microphone, please. Oh, I'm gonna say it into the microphone. Give me page <laughs> twelve. Oh. Eleven. Okay. Oh no. Θα ήθελα να ζητήσω συγνώμη για κάθε προς προσβολή την η οποία χρησιμοποιήθηκε από τη γλώσσα μου ή από τη γλώσσα μέσα σε αυτό το τραγούδι. Θα ήθελα να υπενθυμίσω ότι η γλώσσα μου ή η γλώσσα που ακούσατε δεν αντικαταστεί τους κανόνες νόμους της θέσεις ή τις σκέψεις του Demon FM. Συγγνώμη ξανά, ας προχωρήσουμε με το show. Συνεχίστε το show και μην αναφέρετε στο συμβάν ποτέ ξανά. Ok, now in Chinese please, Evan. Ok. <laughs> what she how Evan? She uh, What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know the rest of it, I'm sorry, I know the basics. Ok, Evan swore again, so we've all got to oh read the apology again in English. <laughs> <laughs> ok, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready. everyone. Praise everyone, God. one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Evan, we'll, we'll do this until you stop swearing. <laughs> Evan, this are we ready? Will be this. <laughs> right, page Three, five, two, one. I do sincerely apologise for any offence that was caused by the language, 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 the language used within that song. I would like to highlight that my language, 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 language does not reflect the views of English stance of the FM. So once again, let's move on with the show. Continue the show. It's like doing the Lord's Prayer. Right. <laughs> yeah, there is. That's what I was thinking. Next time, yeah. I will actually translate it. This Wednesday, I'm doing Chinese class. I will translate it in Chinese and bring it in Chinese written. So we will read it in Chinese. Well, yeah, you you can, you can, you <laughs> can I make a song of this? <laughs> every, every single week. week. You're the official you, translator. Can we listen to some Rolling Stones? That is your job now. Uh, to be fair, in the rag, uh, the rag thing, I did put myself. What Rolling Stones song would you like? I would call it the Black. I saw that actually. Because I'm like. Of course, I will do it. <laughs> Have to learn a language, but over the course of rag. Am I listening to John Cena? <laughs> 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 Why can't there we just do Dutch? It's the easiest languages, Greek and Chinese. How difficult can it be? <laughs> I think we should do Arabic. Oh yeah, that's easy as well. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Arabic. I think would be very we interesting. Do <laughs> I don't know. Or um, as Esperanto, uh, Klingon, Polish. What? Oh, I like oh. Polish. I was just saying. Uh, Spain- Spanish is amazing. So, at the request of the Hacker King, <laughs> we have the Rolling Stones. Ooh. I can't get no satisfaction. Um, that was the Lord Hacker Brandon's choice. He was appointed the Lord Hacker because he won our Hacker quiz. Okay. I cannot understand why all my exes dedicated me this song. I don't understand it. Oh. <laughs> Everyone, once I leave, they're like, I can get no. What are you talking about? Is this another apology moment? <laughs> no. Yeah, let's let's all read the apology one more time. We're not doing it again. No, 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 no
Uh, I just speak and you apologise. <laughs> <laughs> Evan, Evan, any word that comes out of Evan's mouth at the moment, <laughs> it, it, I think we might need to. I, I'm going to complain. I'm writing before Evan learns the magic. Evan would like to highlight that my language, 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 it's not by 56%, it's by like 13%. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, actually. 13 and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, if so, it was in the lead by 56%, that is a big lead. Yeah, so Chad is at 40, 43%, uh, and Mozzarella is at 56%, and on Instagram, the polls are different. It's Chad is at the, in the lead by 58%, and Mozzarella is right. in the last by so, 42%. So if we put the votes together, who's winning? Cheddar. Uh, I don't know, actually. I think it's Cheddar. I mean, 58 it... stronger than 56, right? <laughs> exactly. That's the sort of thing. Wait, wait. No, no they're tied. They're tied. tied. 12. Yeah, they're tied. Right, there's 12 yeah. votes on Instagram. So they're tied. And yeah. there's 16 votes on um, yeah, they're, they're, they're actually Twitter. 14 for 14. Is that actually the case? Why yeah. is Demon FM not logged in on the... Hold on, hold on, I can rig this. Right. I can rig this election. No, you will not. Jesus. I we do not rig elections around up. here? Yes, we do. We're well, in the UK. No, it's only when it comes to Brexit, don't worry. And the next election. You can't say <laughs> you that can't Brexit say was that. rigged. It was well, 2016, everything was rigged then. I think we should vote yeah. for things on Twitter polls like everything. <laughs> the next yeah. referendum shall be done via Twitter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just yeah. vote on Twitter. I'm sorry. <laughs> Should we leave NATO? Vote on Hold Twitter. Hold on. Like, <laughs> what? Are, are you going for like a concessional strike of bad decisions? Who <laughs> did this? Country? What? It like pick f- pick the best. You pick it, and then it tells you you're wrong. <laughs> 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 yeah, everyone, please go to the Demon FM Instagram. Because pick the best. Pick the best. It, you click cheddar and then it says wrong answer. Oh, wait, I click wrong <laughs> that, that, That's. I think that's Anna who's done that. Yeah, Anna, 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 if you're listening, Anna, I want you best. to know that you're wrong and you no, should I, feel I bad. really appreciate Anna, that. you're the best. Well done, Tavashish Anna. This is like the weirdest <laughs> argument of it. Never expected to be involved in cheddar versus mozzarella. So hackers, which is easier to hack, mead or cheese? <laughs> I think it's cheese. Yeah. Yeah. I think industrial control systems related to you know the uh, the milking process and all that kind of stuff. I think I reckon you can hack those. Get you know. I, I thought he meant hackers in like with a hatchet. <laughs> I mean, with a, with a hatchet, it'd be easier to hack cheese. In yeah, fairness, so it depends. You might get a very hard to hack cheese. in both ways, is what you're saying. Well, I'm just thinking if you were to you know hack into the uh, the, the milking machine, there could be. Some, well, that's not cheese. That's suspicious milk. Yeah, but like, well, it's a uh, hey. Is there much Supply technology chain. involved in creating mead? That's the question. I'd say there's a, a decent... Probably mm. not, though, because mm. mead's be quite a, a traditional drink. I think if you like brewing a mead, you do it in like a big jug, mm. and there's not really much technology involved. I don't know how you'd hack it unless like, you broke in, threw the notepad that people wrote the passwords on at it, and like threw it in a river. If those people who are making mead have their passwords so, on a notepad, the there's no lock on that door. You're just walking I need on to in. Check your floor <laughs> after this. So we're saying cheese is easier to hack. I would than say mead. cheese is easier to hack than mead. That's good to know. That yeah yeah I I, I mean you can put as, as one of my favourite cheeses is canonberry. Uh, you can put like <laughs> berries in um, cheese. You can put a lot of things in cheese, um, and it's like I feel like with mead, you know, the only way you can make a mead nice is just by honey. Sorry, what cheese was he trying to say there? Cannonberry. Cannonberry, Cannonberry is Cannonberry. our favourite cheese. No, you're you're, you're <laughs> half on that. that. That has to be <laughs> satirical. He did, he did it once, and now he's doing it as a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Cannonberry. Um, no, it's Cannonberry. Cannonberry. <laughs> right. Here's the Cannonberry. thing. Right. We it we was made we of a cannon. we are English men, <laughs> yeah. right? Okay. And the French, they want us to think it's. Camembert, <laughs> but really the old Anglo-Saxons called it Cannonberry, so we will call it Cannonberry. Well, yeah, it rock forward, I rock think Camembert would have been more preferable no, to Cannonberry. Cannonberry. 
feeling a lot of disrespect towards the King of France right now. <laughs> <laughs> we loved you for a bit, now we disrespect you, okay? No, love me for no, the first hour and the, three The quarters, real English way to say it is Cannonberry. So it is Cannonberry cheese. Uh, yeah, con- traditional <laughs> Cannonberry. <laughs> Yeah, the from Christmas from the village you're of saying Camembert. this, but yeah, it's no. from the village of Camembert in France. No, it's from the it's village of Canonbury. <laughs> it's, it's from <laughs> the village of Canonbury in in the yeah, UK. the famous village where in they London. made cannons and they grew berries. Yeah, oh, it's Canonbury. <laughs> What's going on? Where is Canonbury? Canonbury is the, the, the London Borough. <laughs> you see, Canonbury <laughs> cheese is from the London Borough of no. Canonbury. In the, in the Islington area. So, so it is Canonbury. Isn't that right, Tom? I, I, I 100% believe that. <laughs> yes. It's a fact. It's in it. The French stole it from us and they tried to claim it as their own Sorry. and they gave it a French name when really it should be Canonbury. Some people would say that we're spreading misinformation about a uh, you know denomination of protected... The Norton cheese would never spread misinformation. <laughs> 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 I need to oh, get yeah, Shout out to Idris Elba while we're here, then. <laughs> I need to get in touch with my agent. Shout out to Danny Dyer, again. who came after us for his Cannon mead addiction. Cannonberry. Cannonberry. It's in fucking... It's in Norman! Right. Stop, Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. Yeah. Get the Evan. apology up again. Right. H12, everyone. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Are we ready? Open up the book. I hate my life. Open up the book. Are we ready? Jesus. Let's go. I do, I do sincerely apologise for any offence that was caused by, by the use of my language, the language used within that song. I would like to highlight that my language, the language heard, does not reflect the views, opinions or stance of Demon FM. Sorry once again, let's move on with the show. Continue Canada. the show and do not refer to the incident it's again. <laughs> the worst thing is he's not even mic'd up and we still have to do this every time because he's being caught by the mics. <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. I'm not even mic'd up. It's like... <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> it, it would be funny it, if it's no definitely one actually would swear um, and everyone's like, it, Here's oh, what we would like to it. announce right now. Uh, me and Tom, we, we have been discussing the Mead and Cheese merch launch and we are going to launch some Cannonberry merch so that you can... Definitely say to all of your friends that it is pronounced Cannonberry and not Camembert. Yeah, we're going to give you Cannonberry socks, Cannonberry shirts, and maybe a Cannonberry mug. Who knows? I, yes. I know fancy Camembert, so I think I might go to Tesco on my way home and get some. Oh, really fancy Cannonberry. Well, I've got pizza in the freezer. Is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, but Hugo, does does your pizza have any Cannonberry on it? No, because that's an awful no, cheese for so pizza. That's my favorite cheese, Graham. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. it's the Greek yellow cheese, basically. <laughs> it, it's melty, but it's too melty. No, I, I don't know what kind of cheese it's You dip your pizza <laughs> into it. That's the elite <laughs> uh, life hack there. <laughs> Ollie, <laughs> yeah, oh it's Ollie mm. you are not the king hacker not because you did not win the pizza? hacker quiz. No, this is true. But you cheese wanted dip. some Jack White, is that yeah. correct? A bit of Jack White, yeah. Oh, hello. So let's go with Ooh. a bit of over and over and over. Let's go. Beautiful. By Jack don't White. Excellent. That was Jack White over and over and over, which was requested by Ollie, the worst hacker, because he did not win our hacker quiz, which was very, very hacking based. Uh, contained a lot of he hacking questions. He lost so questions. hard that he's now left. He lost so hard he's that he's left the studio. He's actually he, rage quit. Yeah, he was so ashamed that he he was not crowned the best hacker because obviously he did not know that Idris Elba was from a hacking related borough and he did not know that the hackberry tree was native to North America he didn't know about Cadenberry so yeah, what the boy? I mean if you don't know that Idris Elba's from Hackney how can you call yourself a great hacker yeah that's true oh yeah I am Hugo you are the last king of France what is your opinion on Thomas the tank engine <laughs> right <laughs> it's basically my childhood I have so many opinions on it. I had every toy going. Like, do you remember those like those wooden train tracks called Brio? Yes, yeah, yeah. Brio is the best thing I ever created. I had so much that I still I, oh. I still have it. It's up in a loft somewhere. Really? It's the best. But I stuff. still have it all. Like, it's I like Hornby so is awful in comparison to Brio. Right, Ollie. I had so much. Ollie of it. is like, back I knew in the studio. Everything about it's true. Uh, Ollie, I, I how can you, you defend yourself from being the worst hacker in our hacker quiz? Well, Aww. I, w- I thought you were going to go down the road of how can you defend yourself generally from cyber threats. 
but yeah, um, well, that too. We'll do that. After. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Um, how can I defend myself? Oh, uh, in, in what way? I mean, what can I say? I've got this superior music taste, yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know. Incorrect. Jack White. Yeah. So there you go. What's wrong with okay. Rolling Stones? So, so how how can you defend yourself from cyber threats? Okay. Well, one resource I'd like to just name drop straight away because oh, it's sorry. quite complete. Yeah, it's it's not. It, it's not fully complete, but there are some really great guides that are actually quite easy to follow. If you go to, uh, th- there's an organization in the US called the Electronic Frontier Foundation, and their website is quite simple to remember. It's just EFF.org, and then forward slash SSD. So that's Surveillance Self Defense. And basically, it's it's not just surveillance, it's also like how to use password managers and things like this, protecting yourself in cyberspace. It's a really, really good resource. So check out the Electronic Excellent. Frontier Foundation's uh, resources. Yeah. Hugo, you know a lot about hacking. Um, how, would, how do you defend yourself from online threats? With Cannonberry. <laughs> With Cannonberry, yeah. I put, I put so my computer in a safe. I, mean, so I, I don't even know how to answer that, to be honest. <laughs> So, so DJ Mustard, you are the last king of France. How how does France protect its online systems? It's the DJ and DJ Mustard Dijon. D Jonathan. I, I want. I, I just want to point out that um, Lord Thomas Alec Jackson is now looking at buying a second lordship. Is he going to go for a lordship now? He's saying right now, looking at Lord lordship Lord title. Oh, uh, do French password actually defend or do they surrender immediately? <sighs> what? The moment the hacker approves. All right, it, oh, here's no. twelve. Come on, guys. All right, Hugo, you need to tell us it's the answer. Here, come on, it's right. Come on. <laughs> This is all on you, DJ Mustard. Why? I, I've been to France twice in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Both on holiday when I was about eight That's or nine. That's quite weird for a king of France. I got stung by a bee. That's all I remember. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you still have a grudge against the country of France. And yet my locks are luscious. And the bee <laughs> is the symbol of which city? Yes. Oh, no. right. Bath. I don't know. No. C. C for B. No, B. Manchester. Okay. No. Manchester. Money. Lord Corey, I have an announcement. Right. Okay. Right. I, Lord Thomas Jackson, chairperson of Demon Media, Lord of the Hargun Manor Estate, protector of mead and cheese, and co host of mead and cheese, hereby decree that Cheddar has won no! the. Woo! And will Woo! enter the semi finals. It won by one vote. So this was a very close one. This is the closest one yet. So we will continue our cheese war and we'll enter the semi-finals where where next week Red Leicester will go against Halloumi. Did it win on the Instagram or the Twitter? Uh, I I I did the maths. I calculated them together and it won by one vote. So Cheddar just won. Close. Was was that due to the Instagram? Do we think? Uh, Because mozzarella is in the lead on the the, Twitter. The um, Instagram threw it. It was winning on the Instagram, so yeah. Cheddar won because of Instagram votes. Um, Excellent. But yeah, uh, that that is officially royally decreed. So we will go into our semi-finals next week, and we will we will continue this journey as we continue to raise awareness of mead, the greatest meads. We we are bringing it back to the spotlight. Really right. So next week we have Red Leicester versus Halloumi, and then the winner of that will face Cheddar in the grand final of the Great Cheese War. Last words from the hackers, very quickly. Let's go. They got Red Leicester? Yes. It has to be Red Leicester. Hugo, any last words as the King of France? Uh, I'd like to wish everyone a very good week. I hope everyone has a good day for the next six, seven days. What are you backing in the cheese war? Cheddar. Cheddar all the way. What are we about next week? Red Leicester or Halloumi? Halloumi. Halloumi. Okay. Uh, the King of France goes Halloumi. Everyone else goes Red Leicester. I, next up. I, 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 Thomas Lord of Ho- Hogan Manor, I'm back in Halloumi next week. Halloumi well. Okay. Anyway, that is Mead and Cheese for this week. We are ending the show with the Thomas and Friends theme song. Thanks for listening. <laughs>